In this example, we have two horizontal alignments shown here. And what we want to do is uh, display the profile for this horizontal alignment and then project the vertical alignment from this horizontal alignment onto this profile. After we project this vertical alignment onto this profile, we're going to want to annotate um, both of the vertical alignments. So let's begin uh, once again by displaying the profile for this horizontal alignment. We'll go to Evaluation, Profile, Create Profile, and click Apply. And we will view the active vertical. Now we can use the command evaluation profile alignments to profile. This command will project the vertical alignment of one or more horizontal alignments onto another horizontal alignment. So the alignment, uh, we want to make sure we have the correct profile set selected. And we do have the um, corresponding horizontal alignment set active. So now we're just going to uh, choose which alignment we want to project. So we'll select this one. And you can see test is uh, populated here in the selected area. We'll click apply. Now you can see that we have both alignments displayed in the profile. The problem here is that when we go to annotate the profile, the only vertical alignment that is available to be annotated is the original vertical alignment. Any of the projected vertical alignments are not available. So that creates a problem for us. So what's the workaround for that? Well, the workaround is to not only project, but to copy this vertical alignment from this horizontal alignment onto this one. We can do that by going to Geometry, Copy Geometry. So remember, we're just going to copy the vertical. We're going to copy from this alignment, which is test. We uh, do not want to include all children. We don't have any children anyway, but we only want the vertical. And we're going to project that to this horizontal alignment. We'll give this a new name, projected vertical, and click apply and close. So now you can see that we have, um, as children of this particular horizontal alignment, we have both profile grade line and projected vertical. So now we can go out and uh, let's recut the profile. Okay, so we want to cut it along this alignment. Click apply. There you go. So now we can view both those vertical alignments using the vertical annotation. And you can see now that both um, profile grade line and projected vertical are available. So now in order to display both of them, we can't do it at the same time. So it's important here, uh, since we have to do one at a time, that we go into our locks and turn on our ink lock, which it's already on. So we'll start by annotating this uh, main profile. Whoops. I had the wrong profile set selected. So let's try that again and click apply. So there's our main profile. 
So since we had our ink lock on, we can come back in and select the vertical that we copied over and projected. We need to make sure and get the correct profile set again and click apply. And there you go. We have both verticals in the same profile and both are annotated.